I head on to the kitchen, and also some jammers play at the same time. Lurk and Siori are setting up the table, but that's not what catches my eye. No! Natsuki with the best Natsuki outfit. Like, oh, oh hey, what? Sorry, I meant to hide the HUD. Um, instead, I, I skipped text. This is just the best. You can't fight me on this. What Natsuki outfit is better? It's cute. It's like it's like cutesy, but a little edgy, a little fun, a little e-girlish, a little quirky, a little weird. Love the high. Oh, oh god, I just I love it. I love it so much. I have fallen in love with this woman again. Stop it! Stop tempting me, you succubus mistress. I've just basically decided that I'm devoting myself to Monica. Literally like last night, okay? Don't let me stray the path that I decided for myself. Natsuki, please. God damn. It's hard not to. It really is. We've been waiting for you to get uh, your side butt out of bed like 20 minutes ago. Wait, what? Why is Natsuki already here? Oh, good morning, Meiji. What the f What is happening? Daylight savings time? Did I forget? Why are they already in my freaking goddamn house? Yuri turns and she's... Wait, is Yuri cooking breakfast? Also, by, by the way, I must say, great, like, Yuri outfit as well. Mmm! Banging! Banging. And it also compliments her character so well. I guess that's also just why I like Natsuki's outfit, like this one, so much too. I just feel like it compliments her character perfectly. Oh, God. Love it. Looking at the table, I see a more Western-style spread. There are plates of freshly made sausage and bacon, as well as a few slices of toast. Next to them are a couple of pitchers, one full of orange juice, and the other of milk. On the counter, I see a coffee maker is out, and brewing a fresh batch. For Monica and Meiji's parents, no doubt. Yuri's currently finishing up a batch of scrambled eggs, and Natsuki's helping set the food on the table. I look at the time on Meiji's phone, and it says 9.35. Wait. I thought we all agreed to meet up at 10. Oh, <laughs> that would be my doing. Okay, why is everyone the hardest piece of ass right now? It's, it's really fucking me up, okay? It's really fucking me up. Oh. My. God. I try not to stare, but damn it, it's hard not to. She's so hot. <clears throat> Uh, mm, um, what, 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 what did you mean? It was actually your mom's idea. She wanted to meet the other girls. Oh, I, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Damn it, Mona could not give it me a heart attack. I mean, <laughs> I mean, damn it, Mona's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh, you've got it bad for her, don't you? Yeah, bless a bit. Monica must have noticed because she leans forward and lowers her voice. See something you like? Don't do this when my mom is right next to me. It's fucking weird, Monica. Okay? Don't perk your butt out like that and ask, do you like what you see? This is exactly why my parents banned women from coming over to the house. Monica, how am I supposed to not act? Fuck. I whisper back to her. Don't tempt me. But yes, you look sexy as hell. I turn to the other girls. You all look sexy as hell as well. I suppose. I, 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 I just realized this is the regular outfit that Siori always rocks. Why is everyone like super cool and then Siori's just Siori style? I mean, it's fine. I mean, I love the sweatshirt gang. It's great. And it, it, again, it compliments her character super well. But damn, look, look at that lineup. Look at these cuties, man. Oh, God. God. Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to greet you, by the way. I didn't know that this was going to happen. Oh, it's all right, Meiji. I was already awake when Monica sent out the group text. I was too excited, so I came over early. Man, what did the two of you talk about last night? She definitely looks a lot happier. I hope so. You know, I confessed, but I like to keep the details a little secret. Okay, fair enough. Speaking of the group chat, Meiji, we should add you to our club, club's group chat. We're not in the group chat? What? You have a group chat? 
I'm gonna canards. I spent like weeks with you women, pumped over 10 hours into this mod, and I'm not in a group chat yet? It's a mockery. Can I see your phone? I hand it over and watch as Monica fiddles with it. Finally, she hands it back. I see that now I'm a part of the group chat. Thanks. No problem. Everyone, breakfast is ready. I head over to the table and sit at one end of it. Monica sits to my right and Seaway to my left. Was Blue Skies the one where we were in the group chat and like there was like tons of banter and there was like boy talk and it was like really cute and like funny flirting and stuff? Or was that like summertime? Oh, I forget. There was like one mod that had like really great phone conversations. There should be more of that. I like it. Because the dynamic between texting and talking in real life is quite different. It allows you to act a completely different way. And also, even if, like, you're not acting a different way, just, like, text conversation inherently feels different compared to, you know, just talking face-to-face, -face, obviously. So, yeah, I feel like more mods should do some texting, man. I head over to the table and sit at one end of it. Monica sits to my right and Siori to my left. Natsuki sits next to Siori and Yuri next to Monica. Tatsuo and uh, Minako sit to the other end of the table. Well then, itadakimasu! Uh, for the next few minutes, the table is a blur of movement as everyone piles their plates full of food. Monica only takes eggs and toast as well as a mug of piping hot coffee. Siori piles her plate full of everything. Yuri's portion is smaller and she eats slowly. Sitting next to her plate is a cup full of tea. Natsuki, much like Siori, starts piling her food on her plate before Siori leans over and whispers something to her friend. Natsuki pauses and nods before taking smaller portions. Meiji's parents take the average amount of food. <laughs> so, girls, has Meiji been behaving? <coughs> Mom, I just choked on eggs! Mom, what the hell? Uh, language, dear. Okay, sorry. Meiji has been nothing but kind to us. In fact, we are all in love with him. <laughs> he even graciously said that we could use his, uh, your home to help with the festival preparations. Oh, yes, he told us about that last night. Um, yeah, it was an uh, impulse. I mean, Siori's house isn't as big as ours, and we needed the room. Relax, it's okay with us. And it's also okay with us if you use the house tomorrow for your baking. As long as you behave, Meiji. Uh, the girls laugh as Meiji and I both blush hard. I face palm, trying not to hide it. Ugh, Mom, really? You just look so cute like that. <laughs> in any case, uh, what's with uh, with all of us here? We could probably finish Yuri's project in very little time. And with that, I hereby turn over complete control of today to Yuri. All eyes turn to the raven-haired mistress. Uh, sure, that's the word that's totally there. Uh, um, oh, uh, I, I've never, uh... Dude, that pressure from that, as well as, like, Meiji's parents being here? Come on, Monica. You're asking Yuri to crack under the pressure. But you know what? I guess it's the next step, because she's got to be comfortable presenting in front of random strangers next. So, you know, good, good training. Good training. Surprise training program for Yuri. Why don't you start by telling us what you all, uh, what you want to see? See? Yeah, like what you're envisioning for the atmosphere during the festival. Uh, oh, oh, uh, of course. Let's see. Well, I admit, I wasn't ex expecting so much help, so I had to rethink my plans a bit. Before I came here, I went out and bought a few items. He points to a few bags sitting on the counter. I was going to have a banner, an essential oil diffuser, to set the mood, but I think there should be more than that. I feel like we could make this an experience just as much as we could an event. I was thinking about rearranging the desks in the classroom, but then Natsuki mentioned that she was going to make cupcakes. After that, I figured that we should leave the desks alone, since I was also planning on making some kind of small hors d'oeuvres. You can use the kitchen with us, uh, if you want. <clears throat> Uh, oh, uh, thank you for the offer, Chisasan. I had some thoughts about food. What were you planning on making? Um, deviled eggs, for one. And some small sandwiches. Something that can be eaten without noise being made. 
strategical thinking. I'll always leave it to Yuri with stuff like that. That's great. Oh, and also, uh, something small enough that they could go, uh, uh, enjoy the other food stands around the school afterwards. That's so caring and kind and perfect. Yuri, big overthinker. But, like, super paying off right now. I think I overvalue overthinking. I love analyzing and overthinking. It's, like, not really a good habit to have. Just, I don't know, man. I guess it comes down to, like, ignorance is bliss. And sometimes overthinking... Well, yeah. I mean, overthinking can just really screw you in a lot of different situations. I mean, that's literally what, like, you know, anxiety pretty much comes from. For, like, you know, Yuri specifically, at least. Is it's, like... She's thinking about all the different ways it could go wrong and how people would feel about different things. And then, you know, that gets you worked up. You're overanalyzing. But I don't know, man. Overanalyzing can also, like, allow you to create super great situations and environments and have great conversations and understand yourself better. And, like, you know, there's just such a give and take for overanalyzing. It's both, like, something so great and so shit, you know? By the way, Siori, um, on your right, the bottom clipping of your hair is um, uh, three pixels to the right, by the way. So you might want to fix that. Bad hair day. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, might as well call ourselves the cooking club at this point. The girls chuckle at my bad joke. Dude, I'm just the funniest guy around. Every bad joke I make, everyone laughs. Everyone! No exceptions, except maybe Natsuki sometimes, but not anymore. Only in the beginning when, you know, she thought we were like an evil menace to society because we were like secretly bullying Siori or something. Weird little arc there, but yeah, anyway. But those are some really good choices, Yuri. Uh, how many do you think we can make? Mm, I'm not sure yet, Monica. Monica leans over to me. I subtly shake my head. I think that you should make that decision. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, Meiji sounds a bit worried now. Yuri needs a bit of a push so she can become more proactive in her life, I think. Right now she's more reactive than anything else, but she has the potential to be a good leader. Back too is any indicator anyway. Oh, I see. Yo, look at this. It, it is a little, like, Yuri training program here. I like it. Yuri looks a bit nervous, but takes a deep breath. Well, uh... I think it would be wise to, uh, on the side of optimism. And if we're wrong, we could each take the leftovers home so they won't be wasted. So, possibly 50 each, uh, plus using all of the eggs I just bought. And how much did that all cost? I'm pretty surprised at how far Yuri's thought about all this. I'm not. Yuri waves her hands, guessing my intention. Uh, oh no, you don't have to pay me back. Meiji, just let it be. Oh shit. I've heard that pl tone plenty of times. That's her. Don't do anything stupid tone. Just do what she says. <laughs> yes, mom. Sorry, Yuri. Oh, it's okay, really. I appreciate the sentiment. <clears throat> well, um... <clears throat> what should we focus on first? Oh, um... I have a few things planned that we, uh, you could help with. For example, I think that we could, uh, I, I think I would like to make a few banners instead of just this one. I have some designs I came up with last night. They're on my uh, notebook. Oh, can I see? Can I see? Oh, whoa, hey, oh, calm down, girl. At least wait until we're done, all right? Oh, poo. Everyone laughs a bit at Siori's cute pouting face. Uh, anything else you can think, uh, of to, you know, spice up the atmosphere a little bit? Oh, did I mention the candles? Uh, no. What did you have planned for that? Well, I was thinking about blocking the windows with some black paper to dock in the room. Then setting up a diffuser at the front near where the podium is now and placing aromatherapy candles around the room. I bought the appropriate amount of candles last night. That? Actually sounds amazing. You really thought this out. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will just stop by out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. <laughs> oh, what's that supposed to mean? Also, like, clever way to essentially 
you know, rewrite this, uh, like, conversation and dialogue. Because this is essentially just, like, rehashing, you know, canon DDLC to an extent, you know, preparing for the festival. But because it's on the outlook of, like, I don't know, helping improve Yuri and help her grow, fun banter, parents are here chiming in. Makes it really different, you know? Pretty engaging. Gives you, like, a different way to look all, at all of it, I suppose. And obviously there's just, yeah, a lot, a lot of extra things we're making, but still. Yo, I just realized that, like... Okay, never mind. I was staring at Natsuki's shirt, and I was gonna make a dumb joke, but... It just, it's, it just doesn't really work, if I'm honest with you. So I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna save that one. Maybe drop it later one day. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Huh, that's less than an offended tone from her and more of a teasing one. Unfortunately, Yuri, being Yuri, he doesn't pick up on the subtle tone. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it, I promise. Funny that, like, I did. Dude, I just, I have a natural talent to know how the characters want to talk, man. I'm inside of their brains. I just want to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. <laughs> Relax, Yuri. I was just teasing, go on. Yuri takes a deep breath and continues. Well, I was also thinking about playing some background music for the poem sharing. Something that would match the poems we're going to perform. Not too loud, so as to not distract from the speakers, of course. But I have a few in mind. Well, she really thought this through. Yeah, she seems like the type to take responsibility seriously. Yeah, that makes sense. Anything else? N not that I can think of right now. Well, I gotta say, those are some great ideas. <laughs> this reminds me of my days back in school. I remember getting all excited for my club's part in the festival. Okay, that's unexpected. What club was she in? I don't think she ever said. Really? What club were you in? I was the president of the calligraphy club back in the day. You know, I got your dad to here to join during the second year. I look over briefly at Monica and she looks back. History repeating itself? <laughs> I look over at Siori and she's got kind of a similar look in her eyes. Tatsuo chuckles nervously. Yeah, she dragged me there one day after school. Uh, were you two friends back then? Yeah, we, uh, we met when we were first years in high school. We went to Soccer Academy, same as you. I still have my old uniform, uh, if you want to fit into it, too. Oh, sorry, and she can still fit into it, too? That's such a mom thing to say. Yeah, cool. Cool mom. Yeah, we get it. You're, you're like, kind of a milf, okay? Parents are the same everywhere. Finding new ways to embarrass their kids. I can't really see dad as a, callig a calligraphy type. Really? Because I totally could, dude. No offense, dad, but you don't really strike me as a calligraphy type. I've been into it ever since I joined that club. How how would we not know that? What the hell? He's been doing calligraphy for like the past 30 years of his life and we've not... We didn't know? I still pick up a quill whenever the urge strikes me to write some kanji. Is your dad like an older version of you? Well, he's my dad, wise ass. <laughs> yada yada. Did you just yada yada me? Yeah, I did. Uh, what you gonna do about it, Ada? Huh? I can feel Meiji rolling his eyes. Well, you learn something new every day. I finally finished my breakfast. That was incredible. Uh, um, I glad you liked it. You're an amazing cook, Yuri. Where'd you learn uh, to cook? Oh, mostly cookbooks, but I've been looking at online recipes lately. I hear Natsuki snort. Then my cupcakes are better. Of course they are. I'm not very good at making pastries like that. Dude, it's so funny that, like, Yuri doesn't, you know, she he, she might even know that Natsuki's kind of, like, memeing a little bit here, especially because, again, her reaction is not, like, one of hurt. It's just like, oh, well, yeah, obviously. But the fact is, like, Natsuki wants to, like, pick a fight here, like a play fight. You know, she wants Yuri to be like, No, what are you talking about? The things I've read online recently are just too scrumptious. You would never understand, you gremlin. You only got your recipes from the grocery store cookbooks, and they're so outdated. You know what I mean? I don't know. That, like, that's totally what Natsuki's looking for. Hmm. Perhaps you'll learn something tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I look forward to it. 
Murica, Siori, and I exchange another look, but this one more of a relief than anything else. It's kind of nice to see these two become closer. It isn't surprising that two people like them would normally be each other, at each other's throats considering their differences. However, seeing them become closer like this is really giving me hope. And I really need it. Yuri wipes her mouth, uh, demurely with a napkin. Navin, it looks like we're all done. Should we get started? I, by the way, I feel like we, and you know, I actually, okay, I guess it makes sense. I was going to say, it feels like we are the ones that use um, a little bit more advanced vocabulary versus like someone like Yuri, who's used very basic vocab this entire time, I feel. But, uh, you know, we are like 23 or something like that. And, you know, these people are in high school. Not that that normally changes much, I'll be honest. Most people's vocabulary caps out pretty early. I mean, depending on who you are as a person, obviously. But, um... Anyway, yeah, where... Come on, Yuri, give us the high-tech vocab. Like, where is it? Challenge me. God, imagine we had, like, a spelling bee. Dude! That'd be such a good mod. Come on, dude, come on. A little a little short mod, a little 10-minute mod where the Dokis do a spelling bee. Dude, there should be more, like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, game-type things like that for short mods. I think it could be fun. I guess there are some. I mean, there's, like... Well... <laughs> really, the only ones that exist are, are like the lewd ones. The Dokies play Truth or Dare 13 plus. Dude, this shit kills me every time. But, but I'm like quoting, like like I'm referencing a literal video that exists. It says 13 plus on it. What the fuck is 13 plus? What they the like a a, a kiss on the cheek happens? I don't understand. <laughs> Meanwhile, like the thumbnail is like. Monica in like a bunny suit and like it looks all lewd and shit. It's like 13 plus I mean it makes sense if you think about it in ratings, I guess because it's like PG 13, you know It's just weird, you know YouTube culture. It's either like completely family friendly or 18 plus Monica getting railed Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's one or the other <laughs> Or, well, I'm, normally it's not literally Monica getting railed. Sometimes it is. But normally it's like extremely perverse sexual innuendos. It's just kind of weird. The culture is just different. Because like, when I think of that, like if I post a YouTube video like that, I'm like, I only want people over 18 watching it. But um, for like movies and mainstream media though, it really is like 13 plus. That's weird. I don't know, we police ourselves on the internet too much, I suppose. I have no idea. We'll see what happens once uh, Elon Musk starts, um, you know, implementing different changes on Twitter. We'll see where we go from there. Anyway, uh, yeah, let, let's get started, Yuri. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you're the boss, though. Like, what should we do first? Well, I believe we should start with the decoration for the wall opposite of the windows. In that case, why don't we clean up then uh, and head into the living room? Oh, let my husband and I handle the dishes. You five have got a lot of work to do, right? You'll be using the kitchen later, so I'm sure you want a clean one. Oh, go on. You'll be fine. Uh, we'll be fine after you're done here. We'll be in the office if you need anything. Mom and Dad are both being serious here. Best not to argue. Monica looks like she wants to argue, but I put a hand on her shoulder. Come on. Let's go. Nodding, Monica looks at Yuri. Lead on. 